Welcome back, everyone! This will be a short one today. By short, I mean like a couple hours, something like that. An hour and a half, two hours, something like that. Need to get some sleep. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and <laughs> make some shit over here to remind me. Got my phone. Okay. Yeah, I know this is a hot mess. Come on, you wouldn't have me any other way. I'm charming in that way, fashion, whatever. As always, we're streaming for Twitch as well. Hello, Twitch. Okay, let me kick back here. Ah, all right. This is when streaming is most fun. I can actually kick back in a nice chair. Okay, where were we? I actually forget what we were doing. Oi! Keep me on my Twitch chat, damn it. Damn tap, wait. I don't care about that update. Whatever. Oh, this stupid thing. Sorry, but my tablet's being a bitch. What the hell? Here we go, finally. Sorry, it's turning into a hot mess. Okay then, fine, jeez. Right. Okay, so we fi we finished stuff with no Novak. We did uh, that lucky old son at uh, Helios 1. Spread power throughout the wasteland, not just a couple places. Because, uh, really, that's the far better thing to do, in my opinion. Uh, let's see. We don't have to worry about those. Okay, I guess we're going to Boulder City. And that would be... Not too far, actually. Wait, how did I just find out where the abandoned Brotherhood of Steel bunker is? Okay, well, first of all, um... Hisai, I need you to remind me of the other thing I'm missing. I'm going back to Good Springs Cemetery to grab a piece of evidence. Which, I've never done all the pieces of evidence before. But, yeah. Ah, that's what it was. Oh, boy. Into the abyss it goes. Now then, where the hell are these cigarettes? Cigarette butt. How the hell am I going to find a cigarette butt in this mess? Uh. Um, well, it had to be at the yeah. It had to be over here, where I got dug out, right? Um. I assume this is my grave. Ah, here we go. Take all of them. Jesus Christ, how many smokes did he go through? Fuck me. Okay, there's those. Sneak into me. Gotcha. Back to Novak. There we go. And what's the last thing we need to do? Although I think it's one I haven't even reached yet. Okay, Manny shouldn't be a problem right now. Head over to Boris City. Gotcha. This goes bungalow. Major Andy's. Uh, wait, does Manny not have one? Of the, does he have just one of the apartments? 
Yeah, here we go. Okay, then. What the hell are you doing here? You what? This is... Whatever. What is he doing in here? Message, con hospitality. Hey, you made the right choice, putting us up and keeping it quiet. This weasel Benny's been twitchy since we stole that package from his boss. Making me nervous as hell. But when I found out he, we'd be passing through uh, on our way to Boulder City, I was sure we could count on you. Let the other cons say what they want. I know where your loyalty is. One day you'll remember where you belong, and your brothers and sisters will welcome you back like you never left. You know where to find us. McMurphy. Whatever, it's fine. <laughs> Is there anything we need to sell? Did I, uh, loot? Uh, geez, I got a lot of cramp on me. Uh, boom, do you have stuff? Fine no, by me. Not really. Uh, give, 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 give. Edie, do you have anything on you? Shit, you got all kinds of stuff. Uh, actually, not a whole lot. Well, not as much as I thought, anyway. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm over and covered. I should have waited until I got inside, but whatever. Second piece of evidence in our case. I never bothered with this before. This is this is seriously new to me. I found it every other way, apparently. Including b being both male and female. And yes, that does matter. Or at least it can matter. Oi! Welcome back. Gonna get you anything? <laughs> Let's see what you have to say. Have a look. Okay. Um, we don't need one of those yet. That's overkill. Uh, we don't need that. Don't need that. Mm -mm -mm. Hunting rifle, I'm keeping that. Pulse grenade, don't need. I may be cool to keep, but eh. sawed off. Uh, sturdy caravan, that gun. Mm. Be. Oh, yeah, I need to use that. Uh, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> I don't need it. Uh, Nuka Cola don't need. Purified Water don't need. Self Boys, I'm not going to use. Dog hides, conductors, cart of smokes, empty syringe. Oh, I gotta give that to Edie. Fishing battery, cart of smokes, pre war money. So, uh, um, sure. Whatever, I'll just sell that one. I wanna go and need to give those to Edie. Okay, now, what do you have? Mm. 
Don't need any of this crap. Don't need any of that crap. Looks like I might just be buying it. No. Looks like I can buy some stim packs. Um, anything I want here. Buy those cake. Take those cases off of you. Take those cases. <laughs> um, I don't. I don't want cases that bad. I'll actually pay just a tiny bit for them. Um, uh, Paraphrase Chrome 2 increases condition. That's kind of cool, actually. Rocket souvenirs. Blah, blah, blah. I don't need any of that crap. Yeah, I'll buy those. Hopefully I'll need 12 gauge soon. Still not enough, eh? Well... Hmm. I gave him way too much shit. I mean, gee, what else should I buy? Uh, I mean, I guess I could take some of the shit back. I sold you way too much stuff. And you don't have the caps to support it. There we go. That's that's fine. Okay, I'll let's uh, other stuff later. Come back soon now. Whoops, they mean to drink that. Say, I wonder if those uh, merchants are still outside of town. Start investing in weapons. It's uh, about going cowboy perk and use those revolvers and lever action things. Um, I thought about that, but honestly, when it comes to the cowboy perk, I don't use those weapons for long enough to make use of it. Because I'm usually switching to something like, um, you know, like the riot shotgun or the hunting shotgun, which I don't think cowboy covers. Prim is a new sheriff. That should keep the powder gang Um. Away. Like uh, when it comes to 357, I just use the the cowboy repeater, which I I guess that works with cowboy actually. Where were those merchants? Did I already... Well, if if they're just passing through, then they're not gonna stick around. I'll take another quick look. Or just wait, who's that down there? Oh, that's just the mercenaries with the dock. But yeah, I mean, I, I mean, cowboy is a, a cool perk, especially if you are just gonna say, you know what, I'm just gonna stick with these weapons because it does make them pretty good. But me personally, I don't use those weapons for too long. Like, if you could get that like level two, that'd be a, incredible. Um, okay, well, maybe we'll just find some stuff at Boulder City. Whatever. Okay, we gotta make our way towards. The You know, I want to check out the bunker, but it'll wait. It'll wait. Oh, let's just go up the Helios one. Skip a little bit of the walk. Besides, if we if we do the, I mean, <clears throat> of course, out of character. If we do the bunker now, um, there's a bunch of other crap we gotta do. If we wait till a little later when someone else is with us, uh, we can get in easy peasy. That person, well, 
Yeah. Oh yeah, before I forget, Edie, where are you? Edie, you're carrying a bunch of the shit. Okay, good enough. I really need to arrange how, I, how my weapons are set up, by the way. Um, I want to put the... I really don't want any sturdy caravan for too much longer. Uh, so we'll put sturdy caravan down there. I'm going to put that gun on the right because 10 millimeters is like, it's not worth it anymore. Until I get the SMG for it. Put the 9 mils down there. Cowboy repeater there. So that's kind of our go-to weapons, or the cowboy repeater and the and that gun, and oh, I don't know, sawed off, sure. For when we really want something dead, but I kind of want to save those twelve gauges. I really need jury riggers soon. I mean, I got some weapon repair kits I can use, but. So at 10, I'm hoping to take, uh, well, I should be able to take, uh, and stay back or whatever. At 12. Okay, hello. How you doing? Um. Man, to be fair, I wasn't even the one that shot him. That was Boone. So Boone's picking fights. God damn it. Where do you think you're going? Either one. Okay, never mind. They're starting to actually hurt me now. Let's see, for long as somebody was not taking any damage. Hello. Where are you going? God damn it. Get back here, you fucking... Where are you? Fuck you. Fucker. No survivors. Well, fuck. I might as well take the, the, the shit. You know, something dead, you got a hunting rifle. Legion just never gives up, right? Yeah, I, sh I, I should have put the hunting rifle on. But I figured, you know, cowboy repeater is still good enough. Like we're we're already really at the point where the if if I had more ammunition, like the cowboy repeater would probably be like my grunt weapon right now. You know the one I just pull off the most. Um. Oh, where did I kill them? Aha. Oh, that's not sure. We'll see some three or eight rounds. Some shit. 
Centurion helm. I really don't need the Centurion helm. Hunting rifle, Legion Centurion. Sawed off shotgun, sweet. What a haul. More 12 gauge. Well, I can repair shit with other shit. Brand Deacon it. Oh, I don't care about that. Throwing spears. Wait a minute. He had shells on him. Where's the shotgun? Oh man, I wish I had like Witcher sense right now. Okay, that's even better now. That's better. There we go. Ugh, still over. <laughs> yeah, AI has only the ammo. If he didn't notice the other guy had a hunting rifle and saw off with no way. Oh, derp. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Um, shit. <laughs> We're too heavy. Uh. Boone, hold my shit. Fine by me. Um, eh, and, uh, eh? 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 And, oh yeah, we found a gas station. I guess we should investigate. You know I have no room left. The AI, AI does occasionally pull weird shit where they loot friends for a reason. <laughs> Either because they can get better damage or otherwise. Yeah. Ooh, Sunset Sarsaparilla. Yeehaw! Cool, neat stuff. Neat. No, damn it. There we go. <laughs> I have never really bothered with the Sunset Sarsaparilla thing. Okay, just four missiles randomly at the gas station. Alright. <laughs> That's how we roll in New Vegas. Come get your gas here, folks. Whether it's to fill up on gas, grab a cool sunset sarsaparilla, or to reload your rocket launcher, we've got you covered. Thirty more, sure. Boon, I wish you would carry the fucking armor. I'll try again, but you're gonna you're just gonna drop it. Why do you get that fixed? Oh, fuck you, Boone. You're garbage. Fine by me. I'm not asking you to wear it. I'm just asking you to hold it for me. There, now I'm fine. Let's go. Root beer power chainsaw. <laughs> okay, now we can get going again. Now that we've uh, 
killed Legionnaires again. And I didn't even start the damn fight. Either they started it or Boone started it. I'm honestly not sure. Hello, what's up there? Oh, don't care. Climb this hill over here. I mean, I could slaughter them from afar. Just for fun. And XP and stuff. Oh boy, what's up here? I'm not going to like this, am I? Whatever it is, they're hiding. Red scorpions, eh? Well, shee-wee! Fuck you, Red Scorpion! shooting. Is there another red scorpion? There we go. Fire ants are bad. Okay. Well, that was fun. Did you guys have fun? I had fun. <laughs> Why am I bothering? I can't carry more shit. You know, I'd search for the other one a little more than not at all. Wait, is this it? Oh, oh fuck me. Fine by me. What can I have you carry that you won't start shooting and find, uh, stealing ammunition for? And well, I could read my big book of science. How about that? There we go. Now I are smarty enough to play Fallout. Um, is this supposed to be Boulder City? Sure looks it, don't it? This is gonna be fun. Hoover damn that away. Well, this will be good. Yeah. We've got a situation with some great cons right now. Yep. The brass of McCarran has ordered me to lock down the ruins until it's been resolved. What's going on with the great cons? One of my patrols was on its way back from Novak when it came under fire from the Great Khans. They radioed for reinforcements, but instead of waiting for us, they chased the Khans into the ruins where they were called in a crossfire. No deaths, but not all the squad got out. The Khans have Private Ackerman and Private Gilbert as hostages. Sounds like they were retards. These Great Khans might have something on mine. A platinum chip. Once the great cons have been killed or captured, you're welcome to retrieve any property they've taken from you. Uh, I might be able to negotiate a deal with the great cons. Normally I'd turn you down since I have no idea who you are. But considering that the hostages are as good as dead when we attack. Alright. I'm going to give you a chance to talk to the great cons. Their leader is a man named Jessup. If we hear shooting, we'll be coming in. But it'll probably be too late for you. I understand. Good luck. Oh boy. 
this should be fun. Yep, that's the plan. Hoping to do this peacefully. Man, this place is a mess. Why was that from my right ear? This rubble is slippery. Watch your step. Huh. Beats going up against the Legion. Okay, come on. Wait a minute. Wasn't the talk supposed to like... Because I could see one of them in, in there. Wasn't something supposed to like automatically trigger? Hi. Hope the NCR doesn't send reinforcements from the dam. It, it's been a while. I thought there was a, supposed to be a talk that just automatically triggered. Fuck Benny. We'll make him pay for stabbing us in the back. Oh. Fuck Benny. We'll make him pay for stabbing us in the back. Into, okay, well, where's your boss? Well, I was talking to them. Wait, do I? Am I still? Am I actually on the right quest? Just want to make sure before I go. There we go. In here? Alright. What the hell? You're that courier Benny wasted back in Good Springs. You're supposed to be dead. <laughs> I got <laughs> I got better. And here I thought us great cons were tough to kill. So, what happens now? I'm pretty upset with you, dude. Where's the platinum chip? Don't have it. Benny stole it right before he stabbed us in the back. He's probably back at the strip by now laughing at me. Okay. Now, let's talk about selling things here between you and the NCR. What's to negotiate? The NCR backs off, we walk out of here, nobody gets hurt. Free the hostages now, I'll have the NCR escort you out of their territory. I can't believe I'm doing this. But alright, the hostages can go. The NCR had better keep their end of the deal, though. Here, a souvenir for you. It's Benny's lighter. Shove it up his ass when you catch up with him. I want some more answers. Yeah? On what? What can you tell me about Benny? He's one of the chairmen, big shots that run the Tops Casino in New Vegas. A friend from the city contacted me with info on a big job. I should have known that the caps were too good to be true, but there was still no way I could pass up the chance. You know, I thought you needed more speech than that. What do you know about the Platinum Chip? It's just a big fancy poker chip as far as I know. I don't know why anyone would make one out of platinum, though. Why did Benny betray you? He's a snake, that's why. He owed us the rest of the pay for the job, so maybe he didn't want to pay up. Sounds about right. Let's talk about something else. Fine. Goodbye. Eh, yeah, go on. Okay. We need gun 70? Double check that for me, please. For, uh, and stay away. I believe it's 70. Seventy-five, thank you. We want that for sure. Okay. Cool. 
Okay, anything else pop up? Toughest is always good. Commando. <laughs> it is 70. Nah, I, that's okay. I mean, it just means I'll be doing a little bit more damage with guns. And I'm going to get, get to 100 eventually. Not a big deal. At least I hope not. <laughs> it's It's okay. <laughs> You don't have to do this, so, you know. I really like sneering in periods. So that seems fun. Strong bag, I'm, I'll get it at some point. And stay back. Fight the... Pa okay, what's this? I haven't seen this one before. You've had enough of the so-called authorities pushing poor folks around. You get plus two damage... Uh, oh, plus two DT. And plus five crit against anyone wearing the faction or NCR Le Legion of Brotherhood. That's cool. That would actually be really helpful. At least for fight, even if you just use it against one of those, like Legion. Uh, yeah, it's probably especially useful if you're uh, going with uh, House, since you'd have to fight all three of those. Finesse. You might like some of the perk descriptions there on there. Yeah. Clearly. Huh. I don't remember Misfortune. It looks like it's just another version of Mysterious Stranger. Night person, friend of the night. Uh, let's see if there's any others I'm missing that I kind of want. Shang or you weapons or ring email. Eh, that's kinda neat, but eh. Misfortune is is just female mysterious stranger. Okay. Light touch. Have you ever seen things you've been just gonna spend the last minute for maximum? Light armor you gain plus five crit chance and your enemy suffer minus twenty five crit. I would consider taking this if not for the fact that eventually we'll be in power armor. Uh, old world gourmet, don't care. Uh, entomologist, I'm not taking survival. Mad child, same deal. Uh, that's nice, but no. Demotion actually. That's actually pretty decent, which each rank is. Do more damage. First is loyalty, power of your person items, much greater resistance to damage. Uh, hand loader, you know, cover cases and holes. You also have a uh, hand loader, as uh, Mad Bomber, special explosives recipes, professional. Okay, Vigilant Recycler. There's Cowboy. Cowboy's fun. Especially if you're playing a themed character. Uh, Grunt. Grunt is really good. It covers a lot of different weapons. But I'd st I'm still not going to use it. Uh, living anatomy. Health and damage threshold of any target. That's good. So, damage against humans and non feral That's actually not bad. I mean, just plus five bonus of damage is always just nice, so. Uh, let's see. Pack rat. Uh, that's interesting. I wonder if that means, like, like, say if you take on a big pile of scrap metal. Like, does it weigh nothing because each of the individual pieces weigh, like, one? Or does it just count as a whole stack? Also, no, Grant covers 45, so you can use your Colt 1911 time again. That's true, those are a thing, aren't they? Uh, stone log, I guess I'll be 
You might be not that good. That's actually not bad. <clears throat> um, it really sh for super slam. It really should be melee weapons or unarmed, forty-five. But whatever. Uh, terrifying presence can be fun. I mean, it, it lets you get. Um, well, sometimes just get free attacks while they run around like idiots. Trevor Wisdom is limb sake for And you can eat mutated insects when you're in sneak mode. That's yuck. It's best you can insta kill like some insects, I guess. <laughs> Animal friend is <laughs> interesting, I guess. Uh, Math Wrath, no. Mr. Sandman. <laughs> Nerd Rage is cool, but. Uh, you have to be so low for it. The Plasma Spaz. Alertness. So, what are we, we going to take next level? Just impact, uh, cannibal, yum. Eat a super mutant for a gold card. Bleh. I think it's not insta kill, but more like cannibal for animal song. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Heavyweight, we, we got weapons heavier than 10 pounds, now weigh half as much for you. Eh, it's a bit too specific. Uh, hit the deck. Hover per. That, that's actually interesting. Life giver. I mean, very basic. Not not very strong in this, though. It's better in four. Because you don't get nearly as many hit points. But with this endurance, I'm getting shit tons of hit points. Uh, now that's super good. Just... Knocking off 15 points of armor. Pyromaniac. It's fun if you use fire weapons. Robotics expert. Silent running. Sniper. Unstoppable force. Adamantium skeleton. I really don't know what I want next. Like, I really don't want many of these. I'm, I'm sorry this is taking so long. I'm just trying to make sure I have enough to get what I want next time. I don't know for that for living anatomy. I'd probably consider that. Eh. I just get strong back next time. Hand loader wouldn't be bad. I don't know. I'm I'm, I'm kind of th I'm kind of thinking strong back, but we'll see. Oh wait, whoops. Oh well, hell. If I if I only need seventy for now, I forgot I can go back. Um. 70. Yeah. See, we can still do it. And stay back. Yep, I'm the coolest.
Now I have to convince him to let him out. I'm gonna I'm gonna work on science after I get my three main skills maxed out. This rubble is slippery. Watch your step. Man, this place is a mess. Never gone up against great cons before. I'm glad you're able to get my people freed, but there's a new problem. I just got orders to take out the great cons, hostages or not. Eh. <laughs> for the great cons have nowhere to run. Great cons let the hostages go in exchange for their own freedom. My hands are tied. I can't go against orders. Can I? Yeah. If you have any integrity, then you'll honor the deal. You're right. The great cons are free to go. Yep. That's the way you do it. Is there anything else in here I need to get? I didn't actually go looting or anything. Hello. I guess I pro maybe I need to go tell them. They probably already know. Okay, you know you're free to go. Still got a bit of a walk ahead of us. Talk fast. Eh. Yeah, go on. Go on, get on out of here. Of course, we're a con you can loot when those guys leave. Okay. Nothing here, is it? Here we go. Oh, hey, Holmes, a, per a uh, bandana. Oh, fuck you. Because I'm technically nice with them. That's dumb. Boo. Take the smokes, I guess. I'm not taking any more karma hits. Boom, carry a thing. Fine by me. Carry that. And don't do anything stupid. I guess that too. I don't need it. Sleep to the morning. Fancy meeting you here, friend. What in the hell, Victor? Are you doing here? How'd you get here? Just rolling along on my spurs. Looks like I just might make it to New Vegas after all. What in the... Seriously, man, I'm trying to sleep. How the hell did you find me? You see what happened in there? Yep. Guess it's just down to you and Fancy Pants. I wouldn't worry about him. He looks all hat and no cattle, if you ask me. Yeah, that's probably about right. Did you see Benny come this way? Fancy pants? No, I ain't seen hide and hair of him since the tussle in Good Springs. I'm sure he ran back to the soft living in New Vegas, though. I love that picture. It's good to see you again, Victor. Yep. This is getting mighty embarrassing. People going to start to talk. <laughs> Goodbye. Look me up when you get to New Vegas. I'll buy the first round. Yeehaw. As long as the sunset says sarsaparilla. I need caps. Okay, do you boys leave anything else behind? Uh, 
Oh, uh, well. There's probably a whole lot of nothing around here. Probably. Might be something over yonder. A lot of beds. Pfft, okay. Neat. Too heavy. Fine by me. Well, this is getting embarrassing. You you have to hold that for now. Wait a minute, I just saw some Edie. Yeah, a bunch of shit I need to get rid of except for the caravan shotgun, I guess. Um, come on. What you doing? Hello, come on. You better not be locking up. You bitch, come on. There we go, Jesus. Now then, jet, jet, jet. Nothing in her. Sweet. Oh, we know that's that's one of the shit ones, isn't it? Boo. Well, I mean, that's actually not bad, but... Eh. A whole lot to check around her. That's good enough, man. Let's get, let's get going. This is taking forever. Okay, you NCR guys can leave now. Sounds like we're running prim now. I'd still rather take my leave at the strip. Thanks for the rescue. You're welcome. Man, I thought I was dead for sure. Okay, now, do any of you actually have shops here? Hello? Yeah, they got the shit bombed out of them. We're cut off from the rest of the platoon, and there's two legionnaires all over the place. There's no chance we can get out, out of here before they blow the town, so we're going to hold out against them as long as we can. If anyone ever gets us, I'd like to make sure that Private Jeffrey Hui, Hui and Corporal Marcus Christensen are commended for their valor and sacrifice. Both have, have upheld the ide ideals and honor of the new California Republic with distinction. Ranger Teresa Lutz, out. Whoops. Bit of a last stand for him, huh? Boon! Fine by me. Carry this too. That. No. Yeah, that's it. I wish you would carry this stupid Legion shit. But yeah, is there a shop around here?
I mean, it doesn't really look like it, does it? But, um... I believe they used the tactical explosive to get rid of the Legion in Boar City. Talk to the guy in front of the memorial. He'll tell you about the battle, I think. Uh, memorial. I'm guessing that's somewhere else. Oh, is that over there, maybe? Oh, no, here we go. Right, I think. Yeah, here we go. This looks like a memorial. Sounds like we're running prim now. I'd still rather take my leave at the strip. On this spot in the year 2277, Rangers and soldiers of the New California Republic turned back the forces of Caesar's Legion during the Battle of Hoover Dam. Over 100 men and women gave their lives on Nevada's soil to defend local civilians and the principles of the Republic. May this humble stone be an enduring mem mem memorial to their valor and sacrifice. You here to pay your respects to? What is this memorial? It commemorates the Battle of Hoover Dam. The Rangers lured the best of Caesar's Legion into Boulder City and blew the whole town up. The NCR still lost a bunch of troops in the fighting, though. My older brother sacrificed himself so they could evacuate some of the wounded. I'm sorry to hear that. Don't worry about it. Where are you normally stationed? Camp McCarran, but I'm on leave at the moment, heading back to California to see my folks. I'm supposed to join up with a caravan that's heading that way up at the 188, but they're not due to arrive for a while yet. Up at the 188, huh? Bye. We want to go there eventually. Big Horn Saloon, huh? What if I wait a little longer? Nobody in here? Seriously? Well, this is garbage. Is there really nobody in there? Let's, let's try resetting it. What kind of saloon is this? Boo. Boo, sir. I think that might be all of interest in the town. I mean, it's bombed out. You, one can't expect too much, but... Still... Well, I, 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 I guess. Maybe you're sleeping there. I mean, I guess I could try waiting a little longer. What was in the air? F you. Just in case I goof something. Uh, hello? Hi, are you there? Uh. Oh, right. You can't respond. Listen, I'm using your robot as a relay to get this message to you. I picked up some unusual chatter regarding your robot. It seems that it has some information that we could use. Wait, where are my manners? This is Lorenzo, a knight with the Brotherhood of Steel. We'd be very interested in examining your tech. Could you bring your robot to one of our patrols so they can examine it? I'll have the robot mark the location on your map. What, so they can murder me and take my raw boot? I mean, they're the Brotherhood of Steel. They're like, they're more interested in my tech than, well, me. Why are you asleep in here, boy? 
Oh man, don't tempt me. Oi! A customer. Not many people come into Boulder City these days. You'd have more customers if you were actually out at the damn bar. Tell me what you got for sale. What can I get you? Wait, before I do... Wait a minute. How much do you have? You don't even have a whole lot of money. I could buy a shit ton of Sunset Sarsaparilla. Well, let's see. Um, what all do you have that I actually want? Nothing except for the Sunset Sarsaparilla. Okay, we're gonna remember to use this. That's all I'm getting out of this. Boo. Another satisfied customer. Come back real soon. Man, I'm tempted, but I better not. The reaction shot gonna be pretty cool though. We wouldn't steal. We wouldn't steal. We wouldn't steal. Shouldn't steal. We shouldn't steal. I can't drag it outside so it's not considered stealing. <laughs> like, okay, let's let's see this thing. Let's see, is it actually worth it? We don't lose a whole lot of karma, but we wouldn't steal. Five point one. Well, the lever actually is still. St is weaker, but Back to bed. Not that it matters. Okay. We wouldn't steal. But I may... Give you a better trade. See, this is more valuable. See, you can have this. There, see? You can have that. There. Now I feel better about myself. Now we got something that will actually work with our perks. Wait, whoops. Um. Oh, what did I have up there? 
Okay, we got ourselves a lever action. Life is good. This thing needs to get repaired, though. It probably would be stronger, actually. No wonder the value is different. Oh, well, it's fine. Shut up. Edie, give me a thing. I'm not a filthy thief. Be quiet. Do I just have to use it as an item? I forget. Well, that repaired it quite a bit more. Okay, now it's a lot better. And a lot more valuable. Yeah. Oh, well. You saw nothing. Stranger, I had to use, uh, well, I mean, barkeep. Whatever. Shut up. We need to go that away. Wait, no. Where are we going? <laughs> Why do they want me to go to Repcon? Oh! Um. Okay, so, okay, so at this point, the main quest wants us to go to uh, Vegas. Not quite yet. Let's go find out stuff about Edie. I've got a bunch of ammo for this thing. I might as well use it. Because soon enough, I'll be like, well, I'm just going to use the 10 millimeter uh, SMG. So, uh, Boone, how you doing back there? Have you, you seen any legionaries you want to pick a fight with? Arr? What's up here? Hey, traveling merchants! Hey there. Need anything? Sure do. Sure. Here's what I've got. Okay, you got a lot of money. Boom. Give me everything you got. Fine by me. Edie, do you have anything I need? Yeah, I guess sell those. All right. Well, I don't need this anymore. Um, bleh. That's my trophy. Stop! Hey there. Need anything? Sure. Here's what I... Okay, let's drop, let's drop everything. Eh. Uh, that. Meh, meh. Whoops. Oh, machete, caravan shotgun, frag grenades, no, not the hunting rifle, laser pistols. Uh, five bucks for a straight rifle. F you. Throwing spears. Um, I'm not going to use this anymore. I really can't see much. I mean, it's a good bit of damage, but I'm not going to use it over that gun. Yeah, I'd rather save the ammo for the for SMG, so let's get rid of that. That, that. Don't. Well, I can. I'll just get rid of it. Get rid of that. Because I like my beret. Um, so 
stealth boys guy here. Pack smokes. Pretty warm money. Anything else I'm gonna get? I can get rid of my BBs. I'm, am I ever gonna use those? No. But they're not taking up any weight either, so meh. Meh. Okay, what do you got in terms of weapons? Nothing I want. Uh, waste it. Uh, no apparel. care about that. Twelve gauge dragon's breath. Sure. Why not? Twelve gauge full shit. Okay, that's all good and fine. We're Philly stinking rich. Are you a merchant also? No, you're just a mercenary. Howdy, partners! Oh! We'll come back here later. Um, just, just because, or, hmm, is Saeed there, should we just go ahead and just get our party member now? Yeah, okay. Um, Alright, but I plan to keep on uh, keeping you around longer. It's been real. Fine by me. But, um. No, you can keep your stuff. I'm not that terrible a person. What is it? Uh, I think we should part ways for now, Boone. If that's what you think. Yeah, that's what I think. You should head back home. All right. Guess I'll be around Novak for a while longer until I figure out what I want to do with myself. See you around. All right, bye. <laughs> okay. Well then, talk to a couple of people here first. Welcome to the 188 Slop and Shop. How can I help you? Slop and Shop. That sounds fun. Who are you? Name's Michelle. My dad and me run this store. His name's Samuel. I take the day shift and he takes nights. We came here about a month ago when Prim went to hell on account of the prison break north of there. Found a bin to call home and set up shop. Why'd you settle on this dump? There's more to the 188 than meets the eye. Troops move back and forth on 93 all the time, and 95 is how NCR folks come and go from Vegas. No shortage of customers, so long as Legion raids south of here don't get worse anyways. Why is this place called the 188? You do know these old roads were numbered, right? We're standing where the 95 and 93 meet, and 95 plus 93 equals 188. Yeah, that makes sense, actually. What do you know about Legion raids? Not much. I hear some folks got killed down by Nelson. 
Or was it Novak? I don't know. If they come up this way, me and Dad will go someplace else. Let's see what you have for sale. Have a look. Okay. You've actually got some stuff I want. Ooh, doctor's bags. I'll always find those useful because I'm an idiot and get hurt all the time. I'm not going to use the grenade rifle anymore. Time to go. Um, <laughs> that gun. Nothing else I want to get rid of. I kind of need to get the leather armor fixed up. I guess that's it. Uh, well, you don't have too much. But... Hey, right, that's fine. Give me a shout if you need anything else. Whoa, what happened to the voice? Bye. <laughs> okay. Neat. Okay, nothing else here. I thought there was somebody else here. But I honestly thought this location was somewhere else. Nice job, Al. Thank you. This is just the NCR stuff. You a merc? Because you don't look like a prospector. Something like that. Are you an NCR trooper? Hell yes, sir. <laughs> well, not officially. Not anymore. They mustered me out a year ago. Administrative discharge. What was your rank? Staff Sergeant, 3rd Platoon, Bravo Company. I was at the dam when the Legion hit us three years back. Damn. That was a shitstorm, and don't let anybody tell you different. The brass tried to play it down, but most of them were back at McCarran. Don't oh, I dropped something? Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Why'd you leave the army? I didn't. My CO ordered me to flog a couple deserters, and I told him to eat shit. So they kicked me out for insubordination. Those kids didn't desert. They just got liquored up on the strip and missed roll call. I don't know what else the brass expects. Half these kids don't get more than two weeks of training before they ship them out here. How'd you end up selling weapons? Going home didn't feel right. Not with those savages camped on the other side of the river sharpening their knives. And I still get to see my old platoon when they pass through here. Make sure the new CEO is treating them right and sneak them extra ammo. Anyway... I was always complaining about the standard issue gear. The new kids don't even get body armor. Can you believe that? Go on. So I hooked up with a couple other vets. Bribed a gun runner. Now we're supplying grunts, mercs, and anybody else on our side. We don't make much, but at least we're saving lives. Good for you. NCR doesn't have the caps to outfit their troops. Vegas is bleeding us dry. We're tossing caps at a hundred different problems, while Caesar bides his time and lets us wear ourselves out. This war is gonna bankrupt the NCR, unless we finish off the Legion fast and dirty. We shouldn't be perched up at the dam. We ought to be crossing the Colorado and sticking a boot up Caesar's ass. Really, we should have the military advantage here, but we're being silly. Sure, no problem. Okay, what all do you have? You, ma'am, have a lot of stuff. A battle rifle, eh? Does that do more than my hunting rifle? No, it does not. 51 versus 47. I imagine it fires faster, though. Chainsaw. Paraphist, recon armor. Hyper carbide teeth. What 
Well, you have some interesting stuff, but... Take these. Thank you, ma'am. Oh, well, whatever. Hello? Hey. Well, hey there. No offense, but you look like you've traveled a long way down some bad roads. Where'd you come from? Uh, the grave. Huh. Well, in that case, I take it back. You look pretty good, given the circumstances. Well, thank you. Well, welcome then. I'm Veronica. I live in a hole in the ground. Sweet! So did I. We should be friends. You live in a hole in the ground? Well, a bunker, if you want to get technical. I think it sounds more interesting my way. But I'm not there much anymore. I'm usually out here picking up food and supplies for my family. Whatever they need. So you just leave your family in the bunker? Yeah, I'm not worried. They can handle themselves. But somebody has to get the groceries, know what I mean? And actually these days... I think they'd rather have me out here anyway, but that's a whole other story. So, listen, can I ask you something on the level? Well, go ahead. I had a run-in with this group calling themselves the Brotherhood of Steel. Pretty strange bunch. Do you know anything about them? Uh, let's see. Uh, they're usually harmless unless you use advanced technology around them. Yeah, that sounds good. Well, that shouldn't be a problem for me. I can't afford anything like that. Hey, so, where are you headed, anyway? Uh, I'm going to uh, the strip. Ooh, very exciting. Gonna strike it rich, huh? I'll be honest. You're the first person I've run across out here that looks like he can really handle himself. There are places I've never been to that'd be too dangerous for just me. What do you think? Maybe we could travel together. Help each other out. Uh, where are you hoping to go? Oh, nowhere in particular, really. Just hoping to see more of the world. Looking for a fresh perspective. I want to see how different groups have adapted to survive in the Mojave. See if there's something I can learn from. Smart. Don't you have a family to feed? Like I said, they can handle themselves. And I'm not the only one getting supplies for them. It's a big family. You don't look like much. What do you bring to the table? Hmm. Good. That's the look I was going for. Trust me on this one, though. You'll be glad you brought me along. If I turn out to be a burden, we can part ways at any time. No hard feelings. Okay, let's travel together. Now you're talking. One thing you should know first, though. I ask you about the Brotherhood because I'm one of them. Da, da, da. I know, I know. But I had to know how you react when I told you. We have made a lot of enemies. You still okay bringing me along? Actually, I'm more comfortable now I know you've had some training. I'm great at punching people. I'm not gonna lie. It's a gift. Well, thanks for taking a chance on a naive young girl from California with stars in her eyes and a pneumatic gauntlet on her hand. Let's hit the road, huh? Veronica has given you the scribe assistant perk. Which I forget what that does. Veronica is is a hoot. She is she's she's funny. She's upbeat. She's got a good mission in life. And she punches people. Although you're probably better off just telling her to go ranged. But does she have start with a ranged weapon? Ooh, got something good for me? Is it a dress? Yes, that's a thing too. That is actually a quest to get her a dress. Because she's not used to being to looking ladylike, I guess. Uh See. Does jumping at them with my fists count as ranged? Eh, fine. <laughs> okay, she only has a 10 mil. Uh, you can punch yes, things for now. Finally, everything is coming up, Veronica. <laughs> I love Veronica, and and she's uh she's always Sonny's uh favorite too. She's she's great. Let's see, keep distance? They'll never see the haymakers coming. <laughs> Stay close? No, sorry, I get distracted. Been scavenging too long. The second. They'll never see the haymakers coming. 
No, sorry, I get distracted. Been scabbing oh, too long. I think you're supposed to say something else. They'll never see the haymakers. No, sorry, I get distracted. They'll never see the haymakers coming. Uh, let's see. Beats wait until they shoot me first. I like this plan where you're the decoy. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, okay, she only has a 10 mil, so we're, she, we're, she's just going to stick with that for now. But, um, while she'll never admit, she is actually tagged for energy weapons. So, uh, she can use unarmed and energy weapons equally well. So, once we start racking up laser weapons and plasma weapons and flamethrowers, etc., we'll start giving them to her. For now, she gets to punch. Don't believe she has a ranged weapon, but she's trained in energy weapons. Yeah, yeah. You are correct, sir. You're making me carry the heavy stuff, aren't you? <laughs> and she can carry more crap than Boone, so that's nice. She starts off with seven strength. All right, then, ma'am. We have a mission. Let's go. You and friend bot over here. Um, what are we doing? Oh yeah, we're going to uh, Repcon, I guess. I honestly thought this was farther north. So I wasn't expecting to run into her now, but hey, she's here, might as well. Nah, it's not horrible, but she's not skilled with guns anyway, so mm, let's just let her punch things. But yeah, she's the one that will let us get into the, the bunker easier. Well, because obviously she has an in. The strip's not too far from here either. After we hit Repcon, we could go ahead and go to Vegas. Ooh, I hear creepy music. Poseidon Energy. It's a gas station. At least it was. Nothing here? Eh. Hey, wait a sec. This area looks a little familiar, but... It's been a while. Maybe not quite what I was looking for. Mm -hmm. Hello. How may I serve you, Master? Not immediately hostile. Yeah, we're, we're not going to bother with any other companions, most likely. Pff, okay. Bunch of dead fiends, huh? Green battle helmet. Uh, not worth taking. This is where you need... Oh! Well, I think we know who we're giving that to then, huh? Don't need that crap. Only problem is I have to get... Since she... Since... Uh, unlike Boone... Um, she doesn't have, like, a, a base range weapon, so she... Any, any weapons I give her, she will not have unlimited ammo. So... That's a bit of a problem, but... We'll figure it out. We should have a decent bit uh, stored away at this point. Hello. Please remember visiting hours are from 10 a.m. until 5 p.m. Please show your badge or make your way out of the building. Oh, yeah. Okay, fine.
Well, yeah, now we're, while we're just sitting here, let's just talk. What's up? Oh, yeah, she's also a uh, walking work workbench, so that's cool. Tell me about yourself. I like long walks in the desert and candlelit metal workshops. Sexy. Okay, best use your skills. I like punching things, but sometimes shooting things just has to do. Anything else? Yeah. I've been taking things apart and putting them back together since before I said my first word. You want to build something? Talk to me, and we can do it right there on the spot. Workbenches are for novices. Yeah. Who knows? I might even be able to show you a brotherhood trick or two. What a lady. Let's talk about your tactics. Am I punching too much? I get carried away. <laughs> okay, this is the one I was looking for. Let's talk about how close you're following me. Yeah. What are you saying exactly? Yeah, uh, stay close to me. No, sorry, I get distracted. Been scavenging too long. Oh, uh, that's not the one I was looking for. See, I'm good at stuff. That was a certain line I was looking for. What the hell? For the record, if alarms start, sentry bots come out. If you don't mind dealing with that, oh, I don't mind dealing with that. That's fine. Lots of energy ammo and energy weapons. Okay, so this is where we're going to get her suited up, I guess. Questions I wanted to ask you. He was dead when I got there. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me about the Brotherhood of Steel. It pays like ass, but it's hard to get other work with my skill set. What do you want to know? What's their purpose? <laughs> Good question. These days, it's hard to say. Once upon a time, it was about technology. Controlling it so it couldn't destroy us again. Energy weapons and power armor are usually tops on our list, although I appreciate anything that's vintage. But that all seems so limited now. We haven't grown or adapted, and now we're stuck in a hole, not carrying out our mission. How did you get to be a member? More sexual favors than I can even count. I am still tired from it. Oh my. No, actually, you're born into it. My parents, their parents, so on. When you're young, you can choose to leave, but it's home, so most people don't. We don't take on new members, really. You can do the math on our long-term prospects based on that point. I keep hoping we'll change that. See, Veronica's fun. Like, Boone's just all like, nah, yeah. I mean, I, I know he's got, like, every reason to be upset, but I mean, we need some happiness, man. I got shot in the head and had to get drug out of the grave. I need some happiness in my life. Oh, yeah, there's two. Really? Mm, well, I can take it, but I can't use it. But she can. That's another thing. She can use something that most other party members can't, at least as far as I remember. Uh, what do you do for them? I'm a procurement specialist. Like I said, it's basically grocery shopping, except sometimes the groceries are scavenged parts and arcane technology. The elder who brought us to the Mojave, Father Elijah, usually had me looking for these old memory units, but... He'd never tell me what they were for. Hmm. Nowadays, I'm usually sent to do business with traders at places like the 188. But sometimes I think it's just to keep me out of everyone's hair. Do you like being a member? I know sometimes I sound like I don't. I know. But there's something that still rings true to me about our code. There's an honor to it. We're protecting people. Even if it's from themselves, it's a good cause. We just lose sight of the big picture sometimes. Treat all our practices with the same sacredness. What's the Codex? Ah, the Codex. If it's in there, we have to abide it. If it's not, it's not important. It documents our history, too. Part of what scribes like me do is update it. Hmm, I wonder. Nah, they'd probably catch it if I rewrote the Founder's axioms. <laughs> that would be nice, though, wouldn't it? Does the brother protect people... Does the Brotherhood protect people from raiders or other threats? No, no. We only protect people from themselves, and only in the sense that we don't let them have the really good pre-war toys. And sometimes it's more like we protect ourselves from them and hope to outlive them and become humanity's sole heirs. We've had people go rogue, though, and start helping people. One chapter had a small civil war over it. We take our isolationism seriously. She's referring to the Brotherhood in Fallout 3. Who is Father Elijah? He was our elder when we came east. A wizard with technology, really. His mind just worked that way, naturally. I learned a lot from him. 
But he started having disagreements with the other elders. The Brotherhood's interest is in old technology. He wanted to explore developing new tech. Yeah. And there were other ways he wanted to push other weapons, ones with ethics questions attached. Rather than deal with him, they sent him east. Uh, so... Oh, okay, you can teach your... Okay. Oh, by the way, it's not a spoiler, but you'll get to meet the Father Elijah if you go to Dead Money. Oh, interesting. Let's put on a 7 follow for a fun fact for you. Yeah. <laughs> now, by the way, it's not that she's opposed to helping people. But in fact, she wants to help people. That's kind of her mission for being out here. It's like, we got this cool tech, and you'll find this out later, I suppose. But she's like, so why don't we just start helping people so we stop make if nothing else, to stop making enemies. We, we need to get out of this fucking hole and make some friends and, you know, expand that way. We're not going to expand out here. Darn it. I had some spectacular answers coming, too. I'm sure you did. Tell me about yourself. My favorite subject. Uh, what are your goals? I want... a dress. A dress? Yeah, a good one. Something elegant and classy, you know? But still stylish. Something that's eye-catching and sexy, but also says, don't fuck with me. I keep hoping I'll come across some old world designer gown when I'm scavenging, but it never happens. Maybe I should move back to California. That's your goal? You want a nice dress? Hey, you try getting a date wearing scribe robes. Might as well be wearing sweatpants. I just like them, you know? They make you feel like a woman. Those ladies before the war, they knew what they were doing. Tell me something else about you. Can I make it up? <laughs> Who was this Father Elijah to you? I would say he was my tutor, but that doesn't cover it. After my parents passed, he looked after me. The whole brotherhood brought me up, really, but he made sure of it. I never had a grandfather, not that I knew, anyway. But Elijah was in some ways what I'd imagine a grandfather to be. The Commonwealth faction is the same one as DC. Outcast 1. It's the, uh, black and... The Outcast 1? Like, canon-wise? So you do all these things to help out the the good guy chapter, but the outcasts end up winning anyway. I do believe you can hand her a dress from Dead Money. Yeah, there, there's a few different ones that work. Um, like even some of the more generic ones can work. Also, the one from one of the ones you can get from, you know, that one society in Vegas. You know, the really fancy dressing people. The people that do that. Yeah. Those people. that their, their attire works. Did you follow him from California? It was by his request, actually. He cleared it with the other elders. Somehow. They sent him to look into the dam. There was a time when I had begged to follow. Watch him at work. What changed? He did. For years, he fought with the council, taught me to question our direction. Meanwhile, he'd become more out of touch than all of them. On our way east, he demanded we stop at Helios 1 to examine it. While we were there, we received word that the NCR had taken the dam. He was furious. Called it children playing with a bomb, but he was mad because we'd lost his power. What we'd use it for? He didn't even care. How is that different from how any other elder would have reacted? They're cautious. When they discover something, they respect it, learn its limits, consider how to preserve it. Used to drive Father Elijah crazy. He liked to learn limits too, but only so he could push them. That's not to excuse the other elders, though. They all covet technology for its own sake. Some are just more fanatical than others. They were trying to talk sense into him? Yeah, I did. I couldn't help him. He just didn't listen. And the idea that people talk back to him. If he could have made the Brotherhood act like machines, ordering them around with the push of a button, he would have. What did you learn from him? Elijah could look at an old device and immediately understand what made it work. And he could see its potential, where it fit with other technology. It's not something he could teach, but he tried with me. Some of it stuck. But that's what he taught me. You ask what I learned from him. How's that different? What'd you learn from him? 
I learned what I don't want to become. In the end, there was just him and his vision. Nothing and no one else. Were you close? Yeah. I miss him. Where is he now? I don't know. Last time anyone saw him was in the battle at Helios 1. I wasn't there. He gave orders to hold the plant until it could be reactivated. But he ran out of time. The NCR overran it. Everyone thought he was dead. But I got a note from him at a comm station. That's how he liked to talk, even to me. He wasn't good at face-to-face. -face. What was in the note? It was... strange. Even for Father Elijah. He's always been unstable, but this was... something else. I don't want to say delusional, but I don't know what else to call it. The only thing familiar about it was the signature. He said the Brotherhood was doomed, but that he'd return, save us. But the way he said it... I don't know. Said he'd return with one of the greatest treasures of the old world. Make the Mojave like it was meant to be. Wipe the slate clean. Hmm. Tell me something else about you. Like what? <laughs> Ever been in love? Ever been nosy? Yeah. I was. Once. We were pretty young, but I like to think it was love. What happened? She left the Brotherhood. Wanted to put some distance between herself and her parents. Since our membership her? isn't open to outsiders, some members think that obligates all of us to procreate. Her? You can guess which camp her parents belong to. Her? Yeah, that's right, guys. Shot down immediately. Yeah, she's too gay. But that's alright. That's super cool. You didn't go with her? No. Couldn't bring myself to leave everyone else behind. Couldn't convince her to stay, either. I'd hoped love would be enough to influence her decision, but it wasn't. We were both too stubborn. I don't know where she is now, but I'm sure she's moved on. I still think about her, though. Once in a while. It is cool, though, that they don't linger on that and go, Whoa, wait a minute, you're... It's just kind of just... It's just accepted, like, Oh, yeah, that's a thing. Yeah. No need to dwell on it. Move on. And look it up. Lion's daughter dies in battle after Fallout 3. She she was the other for a bit, but, yeah. Okay, that's one in short. Man! Everything bad happens! According to the, the stupid guide. Everything bad happens. Dog meat gets blown up by lasers. Uh, lion's prize is destroyed. Everything. I want to discuss other things. Ooh, got any juicy gossip? Actually, I should not finish talking about her. Um, tell me you about yourself again. My favorite son. Do you have any, any other family in the Brotherhood? Just my parents, but they haven't been around for a long time. Dad was a paladin, Mom was a scribe. They died in the same battle, trying to hold off the NCR from... something. I don't remember what it was. I guess it seemed important at the time. But that's the game, it keeps something interesting going, right? To be fair, good brotherhood could have been a thing, but I guess they really wanted to shit on everything. Because, I mean, we're so used to the hard neutral... Uh, brotherhood, or the ones that are like, <sighs> I don't want to call the, the Commonwealth Brotherhood, like, evil per se, but they are hard racist, like super hard, ra I mean, they've always been kind of, uh, uh, you know, anti-mutant, anti-ghoul sort of thing, but oh boy. Oh, boy, they take it to a new level in the Commonwealth. They, 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 they might as well be goose-stepping in Fallout 4. Uh, yeah, uh, feels bad, man. Did they say anything else about you? Like what? Uh, are you well-respected among other members of the Brotherhood? If you take trying to keep me as far away from Hidden Valley as possible because I ask too many difficult questions as a sign of respect, oh yeah. That's not to say I don't get along with them. I just think they don't know what to do with me sometimes. Troublesome little thing, you. Like what? 
Commonwealth Brotherhood is straight up zealotry to a 40k level. You know what? That's actually the best comparison, actually. They, they, uh, Commonwealth Brotherhood is Imperium, pretty much. Is there some place you want me to take you? Nowhere specific. I just know there are a lot of groups who are actually doing well for themselves out here. I want to understand how and why. See them at work. Yeah, if absolutely nothing else, she wants to, you know, talk to people like, hey, tell us your secrets, or let's open up trade so we can work better, you know, very sensible things. Sure. Questions I want to ask you? This better not be about the meaning of life. Rats. You ever hear of a guy called Benny? Sure. He's one of the hotel managers on the strip. He comes up in the news now and then. Him and the other chairman run the tops. It's one of the nicer hotels. Or so I hear. Elder McNamara wouldn't shell out for a passport for me, so I've actually never been to the Strip. Why do people get so cheap when they get old? What a bunch of jerks. Well, when two people really love each other, you really don't know this stuff yet? What a smart ass. Know anything about New Vegas? Yep, it's your typical city layout. Rich people in a gated community surrounded by extreme poverty. Yeah. House gave the area around the Strip to the locals, but he has no interest in it, so he ignores it entirely. It just needs new management. I'd love to see the Brotherhood do it, but since the Codex doesn't say clean up Freeside, no one listens to me. Bunch of sticklers. Ooh, do I get a prize if I answer right? Yes. Uh, what do you think of the NCR? I'm worried they'll be the death of the Brotherhood. They take what they want. We defend our interests to the death. But there's a handful of us, and tens or hundreds of thousands of them. So, it's not going to end well. No. Last time we clashed, we lost a lot of people. Retreated to our bunker. Now we're afraid to even move around during the day. I was told we wouldn't be tested on this. Sorry. Any thoughts about Caesar's Legion? Silliest dress band of raping, slaving marauders you'll see east of California. I'll say that. Where's that touch of old world class? Although, I hear... The soldiers mount each other as much as they mount their women, so maybe they did keep a little something from the Empire. No such privilege for the women, though. Figures. So, to answer your question, they're a bunch of hypocritical jerkwads. It's a word. <laughs> I love Veronica so much. Uh, nothing else, right? A lifetime supply of fancy lad snack cakes, revenge against my enemies, and world peace. In that order. Good choice. Okay, that's it. Let's. Okay, uh, I believe it is something. Oh yeah, sensor, sensor too. They hate those too. It's something that would have happened to the Brotherhood eventually because they took out an actual storyline. It's ruined. Sensor not as big of a problem as Brotherhood makes them out to be. Now, if I say had a Deus Ex Human Revolution style event where half a big population of a town. Something went berserk because they had no idea they were sense and got turned into killing machines. It would have made sense. But you only hear about one Sith goes nuts or go nuts. Only one. Most of the Sith I ran into were were okay. Well, I mean, okay, not the Terminator ones, but whatever. Jury was cool. We had to make her into synth, but whatever, it's fine. Okay, now that we've exhausted our chat options. I'm an exemplar, y'all. We'll do Repcon and then we'll call it quits. I need to get to bed. How may I serve you, Master? Welcome to Repcon headquarters, Rocketeer. Come all this way to see our little facility, have you? I'm here to answer any and all questions you may have within specified parameters. And if you'd like, I can provide a tour of our museum. What can you tell me about Repcon? I can answer whatever questions you'd like, provided your query is limited to Repcon history, research and development, or Robco. Repcon's history. Repcon's illustrious history began way back in 2054, shortly after the famous Delta XI rocket was completed and launched. Repcon's initial focus was on the development of fuel to be used in orbital propulsion in response to the energy crisis of 2052. Sad times indeed. The company really took off when Robco purchased Repcon in late 2076 
to develop unmanned rockets to explore the solar system. Uh, that's enough about Repcon. Very well. Feel free to ask me more about Repcon at any time. Don't be shy. The tour showcases Repcon's amazing scientific contributions and the promise of many more, coupled with its parent company, Robco. Goodbye, Rocketeer. Be sure to visit again. Oh, and please, for your own safety, stay outside of restricted areas. Veronica, I don't think we're going to be staying outside of uh, restricted areas. What do you think? Mm -hmm. What's this? Plasma, uh, what? Hold up, Rocketeers. What's this? This trio of cylinders isn't a trio of cylinders at all. The container is holding what some scientists call plasma. Can you say plasma? Sure, new kid. Epcon is always looking to the future. In our future, we don't have to worry about radiation, health risks, or lawsuits when using this new and improved fuel source to blast our rockets in into and out of the sky. Clarification. Cylinders and plasma are factually correct designation of display items, both by definition and by the scientific community. Mm, boring old rod, or... What's this? A dull rod? Not so, Rocketeers. This dull rod once powered Repcon's old nuclear-propelled rockets and still contains harmless traces of radioactive material. As an exercise, stare closely at the rod and try to spot the telltale glow. While this case is, is lead lines standard in these cases, not specifically requested for this display, do not touch, look, or stand too close to this exhibit. Keep your legs moving and see the rest of the museum. <laughs> yeah, that was taken a long time ago, as you can guess. Oh boy, toxic waste barrels. Radioactive waste? We've all heard stories that radiation is dangerous. Fact or fiction? A common sight in factories, military installations, and the basins of selected government-funded middle schools, these safety barrels are just what the name implies. Safe. While their attractive coloring can be interpreted as a warning, for Repcon, it's an invitation to a future filled with nuclear power. Rhetorical questions of nomenclature of exhibit ire cannot be used as a basis for criminal prosecution. <laughs> This here's the gift shop, I guess. I'll be taking this, thank you. Or, well, it's a cafeteria of some sort, I guess. I don't know, whatever. I don't care about the lunch boxes. I mean, maybe I should, but. That sounds menacing. Ripcon tours. <laughs> Nuclear family. Why, look here. A pile of itty bitty safety barrels. All nestled together like a family sitting down to dinner. Now, while it's claimed even the safest nuclear waste as well as procedures seep poison into the environment that never ever goes away, it goes away? But oh boy, it takes a long time. <laughs> In Repcon's case, we say it all depends on where you put them. And Nevada is just the place. Nomenclature for hazardous waste barrels as per Repcon glossary specs. Remember to pick the lock of that door for loot. It has a plasma rifle. Uh, but it's... It's too hard. I can't do it. I can't do it. So I, I miss out on stuff. Boo. Hey, Sunset. Sorry, it's Barilla. Yeah. Mmm, what's that sound? Ready, set, launch! Follows your parents a short drive south, and you'll see the retractable dome of Repcon's launch facility. Not actual size. You may have heard wild stories about the rocket flight and their impact on nearby towns and communities, but Repcon feels you can't put a price on space exploration. After all, Rocketeers, you do want to go into space someday, don't you? Statement is figurative, inadmissible as evidence in a court of law. Mm -hmm. Green bean. Officially called the Z43521B by silly engineers, we prefer to call this little scrapper by its true nickname, the Green Bean. After all, which would you rather prefer in your backyard garden? A smoldering Z43521B 
Oh, a green bean. One sounds like it belongs. If mentioned on the news, it makes news it did. Oh, oh I, think, I think I said it wrong. Whatever. Featuring Repcon's plasma engine. It was so newsworthy that we decided to take the quantum matter modulation unit out and see if we could use it for non-explosive uses. Rocket nickname chosen after results of first tribal landing. The big fat fairy f uh, fiery fret. The V-29-321G may look like a big fat red rocket racketeers, but old fatty here ran circles around the earth not so long ago. So let's see you keep up. Sure, V-29-321G's re-entry gave it more commonly no nickname, Big Fat Fiery Fred, but here at Repcon, we chose to focus on the success and apply what we learned about explosive resistance shielding to future models and even our landing platforms. The newly reconstructed, or, or the newly reconstructed Repcon launch facility was a direct beneficiary of this discovery. Uh, do we must attack all the robots to get the XP to pick that lock? Pronto. <laughs> That's... To, to open a hard lock, I need a 75 lock pick. That means I need to gain four levels. That's way too much. Hmm, needle nose. This sleek and purple R77293A needle nose is what happens when you mix fossil and plasma in a rocket and shake it up. The fossil fuels punch this sharp nose terror into the sky, and the plasma is used to shoot it through space to plants where Repcon can mine more fossil fuels, continuing the whole cycle again. Interplanetary mining and resource rights still in negotiation. Mm, rockets away! Just like the rocket you see here, we're aimed at the sky, but we've got a ceiling in the way. See, Rocketeers, while Repcon is, was, focused on non-radioactive propulsion engines, we still need to sneak back and use some of our older proven techniques with nuclear-driven engines to make space travel a reality. Partnered with our new buddy Robco, we've dug up older, cheaper technology for upcoming orbital projects. No worries. If you can't always see what you're up to up there, we can see you! Any implication of radioactive material as negative is unintentional and in no way reflects Robco or its subsidiary Repcon. Jeez, all kinds of stuff here. Hello, tank bot. Oh, watch your step. Well, watch your step. You don't want to be facing this fearsome fellow if you accidentally stumble into a restricted area. Whether sporting the latest in dual miniguns, rockets, or laser cannons, the sentry bot not only makes it take his job seriously, it takes no prisoners. It's proof of Robco's commitment to defense that these deadly guards are concealed in chambers throughout this facility. So let this be a warning. Watch where you step, or you'll... or Alaka Robco, guns blazing. Exhibit brought to you by your friends at Robco. Hmm, the eye and eye lot. Robco's always had an eye for robotics, and this little fellow is no different. This robotic marvel can not only recognize your face and voice with advanced facial and auditory recognition technology, it can also broadcast video and audio as well. Think of it. All the sights and sounds of your radio and TV in your living room at home blasted directly at you on the street, the subway, in the bathroom, or wherever you may be. Never fear, you'll never miss a news bulletin nor a presidential address ever again, no matter where you are. Exhibit brought to you by your friends at Robco. Mmm, uh. it's got wheels. Some folks have asked, why not a Protectron with wheels? Robco wasn't afraid to answer that question. The Protectobot is the answer. While safety standards prevented this freewheeling dynamo from entering mass market production despite Robco's best intentions and teams of lawyers, we take consolidation. Or con consolation. Excuse me, I can't speak. And letting you see this extremely well funded experiment as it was intended. A robot moving so fast it looks like it's standing still. Exhibit brought to you by your friends at Brown Crew. Mm, the hand in handy. You never can have too many hands. Three, why not four? That was Robco's inspiration behind the popular and cost effective Mr. Handy Model, the first of the lines shown here. Always a help on the household, whether with Mom in the kitchen using his titanium circular power saw, or in the garage with Dad using his armor piercing laser array. Mr. Handy is not just helpful. He's your friend, too. Exhibit brought to you by your friends at Rocco. Oi, you won't. Do I have to go on a tour with you? Open this door, sir. Welcome back. 
Bruh. Tor. Excellent. Excellent. Please be patient. The tour will begin in just a moment. How may I serve you, mistress? Ready for the Repcon tour, Rocketeers? Courtesy of the fine folks at Robco, I'll be your guide today on the path of scientific discovery. Woo! Are you going to read everything I already read? How may I serve you, Master? I'm going to feel like an idiot. In the lead line case behind me is a spent radioactive rod from one of our old reactors. No need to stand too close. Let's move along, shall we? Okay, okay, you're summarizing. Look here. A row of multicolored plasma fumes. Careful. They may look safe to drink, but your stomach is the last place they should be. Why the difference in cylinder size? Refining our production methods has resulted in higher yields of fuel over time. That's why. He opens it via tour. Okay, that's what I thought. To my right, you can see a sample of some old safety barrels Repcon once used to store radioactive waste. Perfectly safe. On my left is an example of a mountain of retcon safety barrels some legislators claim are poisoning our environment. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Behind me is our most recent rocket project, which we're keeping under our hats until launch, if you'll pardon the expression. And in front of me is a model not actual size of the launch dome we are using to send our rocket screaming into orbit. Neat. That's what we saw the ghouls launch out of. Now these colorful fellows behind me are Repcon's earliest experiments in flight. Feel free to read the plaques and learn, Rocketeers. Jamming. Now for the highlight of our tour. Due to a generous donation from Rodco, this next exhibit showcases the wondrous world of robots. Around you are the incredible iBot, the fearsome sentry bot, and the <laughs> always helpful Mr. Handy. That helpfulness runs through our whole line. Knowing that the ghouls change the survival. Minimal because Repcon can't make squad, right? <laughs> this is the final stop on our tour. This model of our solar system is a small example of where the partnership between Rodco and Repcon hopes to go. See those little rockets zipping about? They are manned by robots. Tirelessly looking for resources to mine on planets beyond our own. And that's it for our tour today, Rocketeers. Robco and its tiny partner, Repcon, thank you. Any further questions, please feel free to ask. <laughs> ah, rich, rich solar system. A uh, baba bar solar system, not actual science. Beautiful, isn't it? Robco, with its subsidiary Repcon, has often gazed into the night sky, seeing our rich pageant of stars and planets above us. Our goal? To send unmanned rockets to these other systems. Seeing their beauty firsthand while mining ever deeper into each planet's surface for precious resources needed here at home. This is our promise to mankind, extending our reach into a future where the number of Robco and Repcon rockets match the stars in the sky. This is Exhibit, brought to you by your friends at Robco. Machine model display is the original Fallout 1 team model. Oh, okay, that's cool. I'll open that door, troll. No. It's fine. Let's look at a look at a better look at that, Mr. Handy. So that's the original Fallout 1 and 2 model, huh? That's cool. It's been so long since I played, I don't even remember it. No. Okay, let's go this way. Uh -huh. Jimmy Millet's security keycard. Yoink. I'll need that for later.
I believe. Mm, somebody died at their post. Uh, that's... Uh, yeah, it's all in here. Okay. Thanks for the fun fact, Asami. Did not realize that about that Mr. Handy. Okay, not precisely original, but coloring is original. I think it's four eyes of the original. Okay. Still, that's neat. How may I serve you, Master? Uh, let's go, uh... How may I serve you, Mistress? More terminal. Oh, can't do the thing. Yeah, wonder glue, sure. By the way, I can't help but feel we're gonna need this. Actually, no. Maybe I should use this. Use up the bullets. Since empty sunset. Or. Oh, he actually says Mistress of Veronica. Yeah, it's cute, isn't it? Microfusion cells, I need those for her. Those, those. Unauthorized facial pattern detected. Valid security badge detected. Temporary access granted. Please complete employee registration with security. Whatever. But yeah, we are now in a restricted area. And at least for now, they won't do shit. Okay, that's not happening. Shipping. Hmm. Uh, door wreck on office for second floor, sure. Um, I think so. Alright, we'll keep this equipped then. Okay, nothing. Uh, it's not worth taking. Okay, nothing here, moving along. Oh dear, this bathroom has blown the fuck apart. Wonder glue, sure. Fishing battery just sitting on the desk. All right. Nikola Tesla and you. Some psycho. Um. Self. Oh, okay. Neat. Mrs. White. Good day, Mrs. White. Add facial, user facial data to the database, sure. Enter office correspondence. Hello, I'll need someone to come over as soon as possible and clear the old vice president's data off of this terminal, as well as reformat it with my personal information. Thank you. Mr. Rook, for the last couple of weeks, I have seen a higher than usual rate of encrypted messages leaving the facility here. These messages use an unusual encryption. Uh, oh, encryption protocol that I haven't seen before. I'm fairly certain that it isn't a, I guess, Department of Defense approved method. I feel that these messages may be a sign of someone sending insider information. Mrs. Wang, please continue your investigation into the measures, our messages, and keep me appraised on any progress you make. In the meantime, please keep this information private. I'll make sure the appropriate parties are informed. And please, call me Carl. Carl, I've made some progress decrypting the packets. From what I can tell, someone is sending progress messages to a secure off-site server somewhere. When I... Were I to venture a guess, I would say that the messages are going to Poseidon. 
but I don't have enough proof to make a serious claim. Yeah, Rabco is signed on with the Department of Defense to provide essential process and gutsies. Mr. Gutsies. We have yet to come across one of those, I think. Or no, we can no, we fought a Mr. Gutsy before in uh, Helios 1, didn't we? Or were those just Mr. Handies? I think those were Gutsies. Energy weapons increased by three. Woo! Hello, Mrs. Millet. I hope you have an excellent day at work today. Why, thank you. How may I serve you, mistress? So now I'm not sure if, it, if they're called me mistress or her mistress now, because... They think uh, I'm Mrs. Millet now. Thirty cigarettes. Cut smokes. Turpentine. I guess that's kind of worth it. Kinda. Tool cabinet. Nothing in here. There. Of course. Of course. Don't let me keep you. Sunset South Perilla. Yeehaw. It's just a coffee mug. What am I doing? If I search everything, oh, I didn't think this would take this long. Main floor, huh? Quiet windows. <coughs> oh, I'm dying. Neat. I think it's. Yeah, Rob Custom. I think it's a repaired gutsy in the town that, that Legion burnt down. It's one of the houses. You know, I never did actually go back and check the houses or the schoolhouse there. Thing a bit under the weather. Sun came out in full blast, you know. Oh, should we go ahead and call it quits then? It's getting later than I expected this to take. But, what do I have? Oh dear. Uh, what's, no, that's just a lunchbox. Talk cocktail, now we're talking. Yeah, I'll tell you what. Um, oh, Hello, Mrs. Millis. I hope you have an excellent day at work today. I thought Veronica was talking to me for like, the briefest of seconds. Can we get out of this room up here? We can. It's locked, but we can. What I want to do is find the stairs that lead up again. And then go from there. Come on, girl. Looking around to see if I missed anything. Uh, a fair bit, it seems. Star cap, neat. Some jet. How may I serve you, Master? 
Second floor security card, sure. Can't do anything with that. And don't worry, we'll, tr we'll trash the bots on the way out. If I had to pick a fight with them, so be it. Okay, no, that's where we came from. Right. The third floor will probably require you to punch your sentry bot. Remember, you can check a local map to make sure you find it. That's true. Okay, we've been everywhere, it looks like. Okay, we'll go ahead and save it here. Caught quits. And that's the last time we ever saw Boone. Okay. Oh, dear. I am sleepy. I'm starting to drag ass. Anywho, oh boy. The pillow stuck to me. <laughs> Thank you everyone for watching. That'll be enough for now. Eh, whoops. Eh. Stupid. Oh, damn it. Eh. <laughs> Wires getting tangled up. There we go. Alright then, thank you YouTube. Thank you Twitch. I will catch you all later.